Today we'll go through a simple example on how we can create an alert by using each loop and custom properties and you will see how we factor the code. And let's just go first and open this index.html page so we'll see that I have two alerts and they are the same here. And if we take a look, um, they have the each loop and also the custom properties. Let's just go to the each loop. You will solve the problem but for, by first using SAS and we will move to custom properties by using a row CSS. But this is what I have from the HTML page right there, this one. I have two alerts, alert danger, alert danger, and alert success. This dash dash is just a naming convention. This is how we can use Beam. This is another subject, so we'll do a lesson for that. So to summarize, I have two alerts that we want to change their colors by using SAS. Let's just take a look to this alert.scss code. I have a global styling. This is how, this is the global style that include the padding and margin and all of this stuff. And I have here a map. This map include the colors that we want to apply for each alert. Okay, how to do that by using SAS. The first thing to do is I need to access the specific map. And to do that, I need to use the H directive. So I need to use the loop when I can access to these keys, then the values of these keys. To do that, let's just go for theme. What this theme do exactly? Each theme, the first part of the each loop will be the keys. Now this theme will be mapped to success and danger. And for the second variable will be for the properties. So this is the property you want access to. And this is the second property you want access to. Okay, let's just give it a name as a property. Feel free to change the name. We are not forced to use theme and property. And what we want to get the values from is from this map, from this map right there, alert. Okay, now if you want to check what we are getting from theme and property, we'll use the debug directive and the variable theme. Okay, let's just check that. I'm using the SAS preprocessor. Okay, let's just use, clean that. SAS, SAS watch. Now, if I give it a save, you see that I have success and danger. I can access to, if I change the name as an example here, you will see that I have success and danger. And I can access to any to the, the specific keys from the map from the map. Okay, and if I get and if I want to just check the value property, you will see that I have success then its value, and I have danger then its value. What I want to achieve exactly is I want to get to this alert danger alert success and alert danger, which is the equivalent of these two elements. And I want to change the style of these two elements or of these two selectors. Now let's just access to this element by using CSS. For that, as you see here, I have alert success and alert danger at the same level at alert. So for that, you need to use this compound, this compound character right there. Uh, sorry, this ampersand, this ampersand character. Then I will use the alert and dash dash and we'll add the variable by using the string interpolation then i'll use theme theme and by doing that theme and by doing that is the equivalent of of watch of alert success and alert danger by writing this code right here this is what we will have from the code okay if you want to just take a look to that we can just open CSS. Let's just open alert CSS generated one. I don't think so. I need first to set a color. Okay, let's just set some colors, color red. And as you see, the color is changed right there. And if we check a look from the CSS, you will see that I have alert, alert, see success and alert, alert danger. And this is what generated from CSS. Okay, let's just remove this color red because this is not what we, what we want. Okay, what I want exactly is to define this background. Let's just start with the background first. And I want to get the value of BG. Okay, let's just understand that. If let's just open, use the bug again, then use property. Okay. Let's use the semicolon. As you see, I have property one and property two. This property from success and this property from danger. If I want, I want to get this value, this colors right there. And these are the keys. I'm not interested with text and BG and border to use them as a, as a values for the CSS selectors or for the CSS properties. 
So in this case, if I, I'm having here BG, I need the first, I need this BG key. I need the value of this BG key. Okay, how to do that? So for that, I have a SAS built-in function, which is map get. Then I need to define the, the property, which is in this case, this one property, which is the whole, the whole element right there, property. And what we want to get exactly is the value of this specific key, which is BG. Okay, let's just set BG. Now, as you see, the background did change. So I changed the background of each, sele each selector, alert success and alert danger by using map get, then I'm getting the BG value from each property, from each property. The property in our case is this code and this other code. Now let's just do the same thing for, for the text color. Let's just start with border. Then the same thing, you want to get the value of the border key in our case. This key is right there. So I will use border instead of PG. Now the border is changed. And same thing, you want to change the color or the text color. What I want to use in this case is text. Okay, let's just choose text. And the text is changed, the background is changed, and the border is changed. And to check all of that, let's just open the CSS. As you see here, I have alert success and the background border and call of each one and by using the theme. So by doing all of that, I'm just creating a map and include the values and I'm using them from by, by accent to all of that by using the each loop. Okay, how I can achieve the same code by using custom properties. Okay, let's just move this each loop right there and want to access this custom problem. You will not need any SAS code or anything like that. You will use a route CSS. Okay, let's just close this a lot CSS and index.html. And what I have from this custom properties is the same. I have an HTML page that include the alerts, the first alert and the second alert, and I need to style them by using custom properties. Let's just open this alert.css and this main.css just including the global styling. And what I have here, is custom properties. As you see here, this dash dash text is just a custom property. I'm using some values there. They are just default value. This is the global styling of the alert. What I have here is background border and color. I'm using some values for each property there. These are the values. To get the value of BG or border and text, you just need to use this var function. And this var function is just using an argument, which it is the custom property itself and we just put border, bg, and text. And this is what we have. Now we have a background that border and color following this hexadecimal colors right there. What I want to do exactly is change the color of the alert danger and the alert success by using this custom properties. But without using this background color again and border and and call, I, I, I don't want to view why the same thing. And to do that, you just need to copy this custom properties from here, then put them inside the selector. Then you need to change the values. So for that, let's just get, sorry, I'll go to the alert.css and get the values. I just want to get the values. And this is for alert success. Let's just go for alert danger, copy that and pass that right there. And let's just get the value of text. And let's just get the value of BG, which is the background and border. Okay, let's just remove all of that, give it a save. And as you see, a lot of danger now is changed. What I do exactly is just I'm forcing the value of this text right here, which is 444 by this specific value. And I'm just forcing the value. And I don't need to reassign or reuse this background and border and color. I'm just forcing the styling of this alert. You can do the same thing for alert success. Okay, let's just do that. Just the values, the green values. Okay, let's just copy that. And I'll get the first value, the second value, and the third value. 
I can just remove that, give it a save. As you see, I have a green alert and a red alert by forcing the values of this custom properties without even rewinding the same properties. And this is how we achieve the same result by using custom properties and by using SAS, by using SAS code. And what is the difference between them? I'm sure that you are asking yourself this question. Why I'm showing you that? Because this code right here, it is not 100% readable. It is a little bit complicated to read. And this one right there is easier. You know exactly this alert danger and alert success are well, just changing the colors of this properties. But here, but here, you don't know exactly what this alert what this alert theme do exactly. You just need to go through the map and read it. And from here, you know that this is the success and danger and just a little bit complicated. Whatever I'm just showing you. But the problem with custom properties that are they are not 100 percent Validate. They are not 100% used by every browser. Okay, let's just take a look to that. Okay, I will use let's just, this size. Can I use custom properties? Okay, variable custom properties. We will take a look at this. Can I use site? And as you see here, it's not 100% use it, but if you are targeting that browser and you know exactly that your users will use the newest browser, just stick to custom properties for this kind of situation.